Stanja Balisco here um, with a description of a method that can be used to tune a short wire antenna to a relatively low radio frequency for transmitting purposes at low power levels. That's QRP, 5 watts or less. What I'm showing here is a triode tube amplifier with a 100 milliwatt input signal that goes to the control grid. This resistor, the value is not specified, but it would probably be on the order of a thousand ohms or so, whatever the output impedance of the input oscillator happens to be uh, purely resistive. This capacitor at a frequency of say 1.8 megahertz would be around 0 0.001 microfarads or 1000 picofarads. The same is true for this capacitor. 0 0.001 microfarads or 1000 picofarads. So these are blocking capacitors that keep direct current from this circuit here, which is quite high as you can see, from influencing either the input signal device or the, uh, it doesn't really matter whether the DC appears on the antenna or not, but it, it helps to prevent a nasty accident in case this antenna comes into contact with something like the ground, for example, in which case you'd short circuit the power supply. Blocking capacitors never do any harm for radio frequency signals, but they can sure save an awful lot of grief. The, tri the triode tube disadvantage is that it could break into oscillation, self-oscillation, because of the coupling between the control grid and the plate. This can be, uh, it's, this risk can be reduced by means of the tuned circuit, which is tuned to the frequency at which you desire the output signal to appear, say 1.8 megahertz. It can also be mitigated or eliminated by the use of a pentode or a tetrode vacuum tube placing extra grids in between the control grid and the plate, thereby reducing this capacitance and potential for self-oscillation. So what you have here now is a means of tuning a short wire antenna for transmitting purposes to a medium frequency uh, or high frequency that you know, in the, uh, say, 1 to 30 megahertz range, a very short wire antenna to transmit. If, the, if this antenna were only 10 feet long, say, it would be terribly, terribly short at 1.8 megahertz. It would really represent little more than a superfluous method of coupling energy voltage into space for the production of a very weak electromagnetic field. As such, it would be an, in, an inefficient method of operation, but it would get energy into the airwaves, which I guess is the goal of the viewer who suggested this idea. So this uh, would be what I would do if I wanted to transmit a, a short range 1.8 megahertz 5 watt signal 1.8 megahertz at, at, with this kind of an antenna would only transmit probably a, a few blocks, city blocks, maybe a mile or two at most. A very short range device for, say, intercom purposes, but make sure that you have the necessary licenses and are not uh, doing anything like pirate radio by accident. I don't know what my viewer really intends to do with this, whether he's a radio ham or not, I assume he is, and therefore would be looking to work uh, 160 meters uh, for some kind of uh, uh, local communications with a friend or some uh, purpose like that. But whatever, this is a way to get energy into a short wire antenna, short in terms of meaning a tiny fraction of one wavelength long. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Until next time, 
Sona.